Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a report of a child that was in class and he was actually beat by a group of other students and the teacher basically froze, stood by and did nothing. They didn't try to stop it. They didn't try to get the kids off. They didn't even call for help, right? And so this is what happens when you depend on a system that is pretty much shown that they are not going to protect your children. They may not have put it in writing, oh, we're not gonna protect your children. They may not have said it verbally, oh, we're not gonna protect your children. But over the years, we have seen much proof that there is no protection once your children go into these institutions, no protection, okay? So anyway, I'm gonna share with you this very brief report and I will be right back. An inexperienced teacher was sacked after he stood by and did nothing while a pupil was savagely beaten in his classroom. Daniel Murphy was fired from Kirkby High School in Nosley, Merseyside, after accepting he failed to safeguard a child during the assault in his science lesson. On November 21, 2019, Mr. Murphy was teaching when the student, pupil A, was taken to the floor by a classmate before being kicked by several others, reports the Liverpool Echo. The teacher is said to have hesitated because he didn't know what to do having never received any training on managing such behavior. A professional conduct panel heard how Mr. Murphy, who did not hold qualified teacher status, failed to intervene for around two minutes, and it was down to other staff passing through who had to step in instead. As a result of the incident, he was suspended pending an investigation and was then dismissed following a disciplinary hearing. The panel accepted Mr. Murphy's actions were not deliberate and that he froze because he was not sure what to do in this situation. Two school kids fight in a dark passageway of their school, almost silhouette. The child was beaten up in the class while Murphy watched on, stock image, Getty images. The report said, he was an inexperienced teacher who did not hold qualified teacher status and had not received training from the school or in any previous courses on managing the behavior of pupils. The panel was made aware of and accepted that a serious incident involving another pupil making threats to him with a broken glass and fire extinguisher in the month or so prior to the incident with pupil A was likely to have a made an impact on his decision-making ability. Mr. Murphy attended the hearing and stressed how he was deeply ashamed of how he handled the situation. He said he was out of his depth and had severely let down pupil A. The panel found Mr. Murphy failed to take appropriate action to the incident and failed to safeguard the well-being of a pupil. The panel observed, whilst the panel recognized this appeared to be an isolated incident, it considered Mr. Murphy's disregard for safeguarding pupil A whilst being assaulted initially by one pupil and then by a number of other pupils as a fundamental failing on his part. The panel also considered that Mr. Murphy had spent a significant amount of time and effort reflecting on this incident and what he would do differently should he find himself in similar circumstances. A decision was made not to give Mr. Murphy a prohibition order, which would have prevented him from teaching in a school. The panel said, I have concluded that a prohibition order is not proportionate and in the public interest in order to achieve the intended aims of a prohibition order. I agree with the panel that publication of the adverse findings is sufficient to send an appropriate message to the teacher as to the standards of behavior that are not acceptable. Kirkby High School and the Rowan Learning Trust said they were pleased the outcome supports the decision they made as a school. Okay, so for me, it seems like some of these institutions only care about your cooperation or, and your compliance. But as far as your protection, they're like, hey, we ain't got nothing to do with that. But you, you got to come here, okay? But protection, we can't, we can't guarantee that at all. Now, I look at this a number of different ways, okay? I have to look at it from the teacher's perspective as well. I'm going to look at this from the teacher's perspective, and then I'm going to go back to uh, the point of me making this video. From the teacher's perspective, I feel like, you know, even if you weren't going to intervene and try to break up the fight, call someone for help. Okay, call some help, call the police, call um, school security if they have it, call the principal, call other adults into the room if you are just too afraid to intervene for fear of your own life. Okay, that's one point of it. Don't just stand by there and watch as this child is beaten as badly as they say he was beaten. Okay, 
Now, from the teacher's perspective, um, also, um, I would say, um, I understand that teachers do put themselves in a very, very difficult situation when you have children who come to school with violence on their minds. We can't sit here and pretend like teachers' lives aren't in danger too. We can't do that because we've seen over the years, as a matter of fact, on this channel, I've shared a number of stories where students actually beat students. I'm sorry, students actually beat teachers. We've seen that. And they were just very bold with it, hurting these teachers. And some teachers have even lost their lives. So from the teacher's perspective, I can, you know, I can see that point, but still to stand by and do nothing, do nothing. Um, you know, and looking back on the incident, the teacher does regret not doing anything. But, you know, from a parent's perspective, you, a parent expects that their child is going to go to school and come home safely. They're going to go there and be educated, not beat, right? And so even though the teacher may have some remorse for doing nothing or for freezing, I still feel like, you know, a child should be protected, even if it's just a teacher saying, look, stop this, or going to get help, calling the police, doing something, but to stand by and do nothing, that is unacceptable. But that shows you that these public school systems are not, um, sometimes they're not in the best interest of a child because many of them are not being educated to begin with. They didn't do that series, Stupid in America for Nothing, by John Stossel on 2020. Look that series up. It has some frightening statistics about being educated here in America. Frightening statistics, right? And so when you add into the mix a child going to be beat and a teacher fearing that they may be beat too if they intervene, I mean, there's a whole lot going on here. I don't know if that was that teacher's concern. It quite well, it might well could have been because... When you see someone being stomped out and you say, okay, if I get involved, is this going to happen to me too? So the teacher could have been thinking along those lines, which is why they froze, but to stand and do nothing, that is not acceptable either. So there's a number of different ways to look at these things. I try to be fair when I divide and break down these stories because sometimes there are things that you do not see. Things that you cannot determine just from a news report. But at the same time, I think teachers and students alike should have a reasonable expectation of safety when they go to school. That's my two cents on it. Leave yours below. Until next time. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video, and with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.